Welcome to the breakfast wrap on day 15 of the Betfred World Snooker Championships. Patrons who come here every year come through these doors into this fantastic foyer. You'll recognise it if you've been here before with the ticket desk and the World Snooker Girls. And of course, it's generally up the stairs we go into the foyer. You'll see the Betfred bedding shop up there. And of course, entrance into the theatre itself. But a little bit special here, we're going to take you behind the scenes and see what you normally don't see when you head here to the Crucible. So let's go and see what is behind these doors. So adorning this wall here are all the press cutters from the press room colleagues. We're just in behind this wall, but this is what we have got from the last 15 days. Neil Robinson on Saturday, the 16th of April, of course, he was the pre-tournament favourite before a ball was potted here at the Crucible. And we work up through all the red tops and all the newspapers throughout the last 15 days here at the Betfred World Snooker Championship. So you recognise this scene of where the players start their famous walk-ons into the arena with all the stars of the game adorning the walls. We come through uh, then backstage here. You might see the commentator's box. This is what the view they have got uh, up there. Of course, it's pretty tight, but that is the view that they have got when commentating on the action here at the Crucible. And as you can see, all the former stars, BBC and Eurosport, taking their positions to look ahead to the action. And then behind this curtain is where all the magic happens. So this is the walk that the players make into the arena, one of the most famous walks, if not the most famous walk in snooker. And yesterday we asked you a quiz question, how many times has Jimmy White done this walk into the arena here at the Crucible? Well, the answer was 20 times the whirlwind has had to work under these conditions. In just a couple of hours time, Ronnie O'Sullivan and John Higgins will resume their semi-final 10-6 in favour of the Rocket. And of course, he looks to bid to get another place in the Betfred World Snooker Championship. But one thing is for sure, we're just two days away and a former world champion will lift the famous trophy on this cushion on Monday night.